guys want a good life tip for <clears throat> life? If you don't have a good idea, steal someone else's. In the gaming industry in particular, there are a ton of douchebag developers that have nothing better to do with their lives but steal other people's ideas. I mean, the whole concept of Battle Royale has basically been stolen over and over and over again until it died out. And that's why today we're talking about multiverses. A game that fell off harder than fucking Fall Guys, bro. And that's really saying something. When multiverses first came out, it appeared to be the next Super Smash Bros. It had the same idea, the same gameplay mechanics. The only difference was Warner Brothers, instead of Nintendo, were the characters. We had Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. Okay, I mean, the game looked pretty cool. And on first play, I had a really good time. The game had fun combat. The characters were diverse and different. They were set up into different subclasses. I mean, bro, there was nothing wrong with it. The game was free. How could you be mad? But on this channel, we always find a way to be mad, don't we? As quickly as multiverses rise to the top of the Steam charts, it fell off just as fast. And that's why today we're going to be talking about why did multiverses die? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? I'm Trello. Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into why this shitty game died a sad, lonely, and terrible death. So like I said, at the beginning, everything was roses and peaches, you know. We were having a good time with multiverses. And over the following months, they added mad characters, bro. They were, add they were adding a new character like every two weeks shit was lit we got lebron james i mean like you know dude he's lebron we got rick and morty they were dropping well-known prominent characters that we we adored but nobody gives a shit anymore you know why because <laughs> the game's dead as hell nobody cares and that's just how it is and the number one reason i say multiverses died and most of you probably agree with me is the lack of developer support talk about taking a shit on a product that you put two years of development time into it seems like the game from the start had this idea that we're gonna release it gain a lot of hype put out a couple months of development and then say fuck all and that's exactly what happened Multi versus completely lost its support team. Where's my team? Jordan. Where's my team? Since late November, we have not received a new character. Black Adam was the last guy, you know, with the new movie coming out. But all of a sudden, fuck that. We're done adding characters. They were on this two week basis and then they just cut it off. The game still has the same goddamn bugs it's had since release. I think they're just dropping patch notes to make it seem like they're doing shit at this point. Bugs Bunny, Batman, they are still glitched as characters and, and nobody's out to fix them. Where, where's the support team? No one wants to play a broken game that remains broken. So that is a pretty bad problem not only that but character balance was just something they just said you know what i don't think that's important i don't think we need that we all know character balance is the most important thing in keeping a game fun like i said characters are coming out every two weeks and that created a lot of unbalance in the game not only were the previous characters that started the game not balanced but now you're adding new characters that also aren't balanced once again since december no balance changes they're just accepting the state the game is in right now oh everything's broken oh everything's fucked you know that's not really something we can fix oh the game's practically unplayable here at Warner Brothers, that's not our problem. Second reason is greed, pure greed. When a game is medium tier quality, and it's free. Red flag should be going off in your fucking head all the time. They only want one thing by making the game free. Your money. They can't take your money by you downloading it. The game's free. They want you. And sorry, sorry. They need you to buy cosmetics. And that's what the game was pushing after a while. Instead of releasing characters, instead of balancing the game, they needed money. And how do they do that? Battle pass. Battle pass isn't working. Skins. And more skins and more skins. Any way that they can make a dollar off you by making something look cool, they tried it. That's where all their resources and effort went. The skin development. Characters started having four or five skins out of nowhere for no reason. Sure, some of them are cool, but they're overpriced as fuck, and I'm not buying a Harley Quinn skin on multiverses. I'm not that pressed. I don't care about that. Recently, the game released season two, right? Season two of multiverses. And instead of putting the new characters that they're gonna release on the banner, like the, you know, the PNG for the title, they decided to just put the new skins they're adding. Essentially saying, dude, oh guys, don't be hyped for the new characters coming this season. Be hyped for the skins that we added that are dog shit. I don't wanna pay for this green bean ass fucking fin skin. This is why multiverses died a poor and sadly lone death, like I said earlier. This is simply a prime example of the free to play model not pulling through for the company. The development will likely not even really continue that much. You know why? Because the money is not coming in. When a free to play game dies, it's very hard to get back on its feet. The player count doesn't really matter because that provided no funds. Only when people decide that they want to put money into the battle pass and the skins that they'll make their money. And since nobody's on the fucking game, there is no money to be made. Therefore, multiverses is over. People are wondering, oh, where are the updates? Oh, where are the patch notes? That's just not coming, buddy. They decided probably two months ago that the game was not going to be profitable anymore and putting money into it would only mean losing more. Simply because of those two reasons, the game is done for. Now, now I wanna say something. Now, I do wanna defend multiverses a little bit. Game at its base combat, even though buggy, even though glitchy, was pretty fun. That's the reason it had players. It was a decent 
brawler game. But the game just felt so unpolished, so undeveloped, there was so little to do in it. The menu was plain, the overall roster was plain at the beginning. It was very clear that this game could have really, really used another three, four months of development time to launch as a full game instead of a beta that's trying to reap money from everybody. The game will never leave beta. The game will never leave early access. It's all been fake. Even though the game might not be complete shit at its actual core gameplay, everything else around it, mostly the developers, led directly to its downfall. Dude, they never even added Daenerys Targaryen, man. I was waiting for that. I mean, Warner Brothers has access to a pretty expansive amount of characters. I mean, they still didn't even add Harry Potter yet. Guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'm Trello, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.